Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Jeffrey and you're welcome to the Inquisitive Universe. So in today's video, we want to talk about how to know the CPU cores on your smartphone. So let's just get straight into it. Now, first off, what are CPU cores? Now, this is a very important question that I think many people should be asking themselves before they buy any smartphone because we all want our phones to do stuff. I've seen people, Jeff, I want my phone to be able to play eFootball Mobile or I want to be able to open certain apps, use certain social media, do certain stuff on my phone. A lot of these things are tied to the CPU cores on your SOC. I've already done videos about SOCs and CPU cores and I think you should probably check those out. I'll probably leave links up there. As the video goes along but most people do not know these things and some of the people who've heard of these things don't really care they don't want to know they just want to know can my phone do certain stuff or cannot do certain stuff and then you know they rely on advertisements or marketers or people in phone shops and i think those of you who follow the channel already know how i feel about people who work in those stores and i think i've done a video on them so like they rely on these people for advice but sometimes sometimes some of these people probably don't even know as much as you do some of you are in the same knowledge bracket but you feel like these people should know more and then you you know leave everything to them and then they mislead you and then because most of the time these people just want to sell phones phone sellers marketers people in this shop they just want to sell they don't really care because that's how their job desensitizes them and I'm, I'm i'm running off tangent now but you get what i mean so if you want to do anything on your smartphone all these activities are tied to the cpu cores on board now cpu cores are units are cpu units inside your smartphone processor they handle apps games and other tasks that the smartphone is supposed to handle that's supposed to take care of that's what we call cpu cores they are one of the most important components on not just your processor but your smartphone in general because it determines how powerful your smartphone is going to be that's it so there are many types of CPU cores over the years and these different type of CPU cores have different types of performance. So we're going to keep this one aside first and then we're going to answer the question, how do you know the CPU core on your smartphone? So it's very simple, basically. The first thing you're going to do is you, you need to know the name of the smartphone, the correct name, the correct name, model, whatever. If you know that, all you simply have to do is get on Binge. I personally, I am not in good terms with Google right now. <laughs> not in the best of terms with Google right now. I am not, I'm not in the best of terms with them. So I'm going to be promoting Binge at Google's expense because that would be another video anyway. But get on a search engine, for example. Impute the name of your smartphone in there, right? If you put the name of your smartphone in there, you're going to see a lot of, you know, blogs sites that review or you could use ai you could use chat gpt whatever but you put in the name of your smartphone and then you know like just when you get there you're going to see the specs you just search for the soc the processor the platform whatever name that they put there and you're going to see the name of the soc now usually big sites like jesse marina or kimovi usually put the cpu cores next to the processor but if they don't you can just get the name of the cpu core uh, the name of the processor on board check it and then bam it's that easy right it's not hard get on the search engine put in the name of the smartphone then look for the first hits you know chemo view gsm arena when you get there just scroll down and look for the processor usually the cpu cores on board should be in the brackets next to the processor name it's that easy uh, back to what I was saying earlier, there are different types, there have been different types of CPU cores over the years and this determines the type of performance that you get from your smartphone. So for those people who are using entry level phones and you see something like Cortex A53 and Cortex A55 on your phones as the main or rather as everything basically, you're not going to like what I'm telling you right now. You may not like it, but your phone is basically just for communication and for light use. If you buy any phone using SOCs with these CPU cores on that phone, you're not going to be able to get, get much done with that smartphone. Unfortunately, it is how it is. It's just the fact. You understand that i've seen people who have said that jeff you're disrespecting my phone how can you say a whole this phone a whole helio a22 a whole helio g37 cannot be able to do xyz 
But that's how it is. I know a lot of people are basic users and don't really, they won't really do stuff that will task their phones. And if you're that type of user, it's okay. Maybe A53 and A55 CPU cores are okay for you. But for those people who want to play games, the least, the lowest that you should be aiming for is an SOC with Cortex A73 and A75 CPUs as the main CPUs. I mean, there could be A53s and A55s attached to save battery, but you should be looking for something with at least four A73 CPU cores and two A75 CPU cores. That's the list you should be looking at. If you have more money and you want better performance and you can afford a better smartphone, then you should be looking for SOCs that have A76 CPU cores, A76, A78. A76, A78, that's what you should be looking for. Phones with an SOC that has two Cortex A76 or two Cortex A78. You, could, you should be looking at something like the Helio G88, for example. Um, the uh, Snapdragon 732G, 732G, for example. If you have more money, you should be looking for something with A78 CPU cores like the Exynos 1280, 1330. Uh, 1380, 1480, you should be looking for stuff like Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, you know, uh, uh, Diamond City 8000, you know, like 8020, 8050. If you have more money, you should be looking for performance like that. If you've got even more money, you should be looking for some of the latest modern, you know, like the higher you go, the better the performance you get. I'm going to put a chart on the screen so you'd see the different levels of performance that you get when you're working with these uh, CPU cores depending on the SOC you're going to go into. This, this CPU cores can be arranged in so many different configurations that I will spend the next one hour talking about <laughs> processors here. But if you want to know like from top to bottom from the first, the highest performing one, which is probably the Diamond 9300 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, all the way down to the weakest one, which is probably the MediaTek 6739 at this point. I have a list of top 100 smartphone processors. Get on any search engine and search for top 100 smartphone SOCs. You're going to see Inquisitive Universe right there near the top. We rank very high for this stuff because it's a very authoritative you know, channel brand that i have we have been trying to build for the last four years so you should get there and check to see what that those cpu cores there when you're checking for smartphone specs they mean something and they're important and that's what i want you to know it's very very important it's very very key so keep that in mind whenever you are going to search for your next smartphone if you already have a smartphone right now and you want to see the level of performance that it has got just why not just put in the name inside the search field of any search engine and then go check out the uh, the, the the level of the cpu cores that you've got on board personally i use a poco f5 5g and it's got a cortex x2 prime core in there so that's why i'm able to do stuff like play uh, emulated games like breath of the world for example playstation 2 games and ps vita games and stuff i'm able to play um call of duty warzone at high graphics and 60 fps i can play PUBG at very high settings at 60 fps so it's because i've got a very powerful cpu core on board i can i can shoot and edit videos out of my smartphone because i've got this stuff it's powerful in there so Depending on the level of CPU cores that you get, I mean, without even anybody telling you, when you go and check the phone and you check the CPU cores and they'll be like, oh, A73, no, it's not going to pay for my soul, that's an A76 or an A78 or an X1 or an X2 or A710, A720, X3, X4. Like, you get the idea. So that nobody will come and tell you, well, this phone is powerful. It's, it's mostly gimmicks that these people are trying to use to sell phones so that you are not caught on a ways. That's why I'm making this video. And that's all there is for me. I don't want this video to be too long. I guess I will see you in the next one. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It's stuff like this that helps more channels like mine grow. I'm not affiliated to anybody. I just want to give you good information, great information. No affiliate links, no nothing. Just plain straight information. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.